Looking for an updated three-story townhome in Mato Midai featuring a beautiful kitchen, gas fireplace, balcony off back, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today we're going to do a video walkthrough tour of 866 Ledgestone Drive here in Mato Midai. This is of the beautiful two-bedroom townhouse behind me. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Be sure if you enjoy the video tour, hit that like button and check out the description below, where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. If you enjoyed the video tour, but the house wasn't quite what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So, here is the townhouse. Really nice townhouse, multi-level. A lot of cool updates and features around here in Mato Midai. Got uh, two rows of townhouses right here. There's some guest parking out there. You got two car garage off back. And a nice little walkway up here. Little bench, you got some green spaces, nice landscaping. So really kind of charming front entrance to the unit. Without further ado, let's head on in. Check it out the home. All right, so upon entering, come into a nice split level here. And there actually is, there's this lower level right here. We'll go check it, check it out in a little bit where you have garage access and another finished family room. But coming in through this front door, get you in a kind of delayed split where we have the main level right here. And this level is easily my favorite. Really nice. We've got this large family room, grand dining room, gas fireplace with we'll see-through on both sides. Got this cool accent wall over here too. Big windows looking out to the front. Really nice flooring here as well. You can see you got your stairs that lead to the upper level where we have two more bedrooms. Here's our nice fireplace. Great mantle. Big space up here to go ahead and put up some decor. We have our dining room area right here. Really nice. Light fixture, I was gonna say a spot for a piano. They have a keyboard right here. Or a desk or something small, you know, that works well. Very optimal open layout. And you can see we have the kitchen over here. Great sight lines into the family room area as well. So let's kind of do a little deep dive with everything. So we'll start over here. You can see nice lower cabinets. We've got quartz counters, large sink, nice tile backsplash, and our dishwasher. Flip it around, electric range, continuation of counters. And of course we have our fridge right here too. And you can see a good amount of upper cabinets, built-in microwave, wrapping all the way around. That's a lot of cabinetry as it is. In addition, you have another center island right here. More cabinet space, more counter space. You know, you want to put up some bar stools like they did here. It's for a good spot to kind of have an informal eating other than the larger dining area over here. And then of course you've got this hutch, uh, you know, cabinetry space over here for a little wine rack or coffee station. And then a pantry right here too. So you got everything that you would want over in this area. Um, and there is space here where you could put a, a larger table here too, if you'd like. Now this is off the back side of the home. So we do have quite a large balcony. You'll see it's very, very long. And this is actually the back side of the unit here too. So you can see you've got the drive that comes in, garage right below there, and you've got some walking paths and such. So real nice location. But yeah, this, this deck is very long. We'll go down to this side here to show it off. And you got privacy walls on either side too. Keep it a little more secluded. Got your outlets out here too, light fixtures, so everything you'd want. Okay, showing off the rest of this level, the things that we've yet to see is over on the flip side over here, we've got our laundry room. So in unit, washer, dryer, and then a sink basin. And just some kind of extra space, if you will. Then we have our guest bathroom over here. Where we have our sink toilet. And really cool, like this door is really, really neat. Nice powder room, barn door. Okay, 
Let's go upstairs and then we'll save the downstairs for last, but just from a high level overview of seeing this entry, you can see you got space where you could put uh, shoes or they have a mirror, get a bench down here, some decor, and then a lot of natural light that could come in from these large windows plus the light fixture. Okay, let's go upstairs. So this is a two bedroom home. It's a very large two bedroom home. So coming up, you do have this loft space upon hitting this level. And then we've got two bedrooms, your secondary bedroom here, your master bedroom down on the flip side. We'll show off the secondary bedroom here first. Nice little accent wall over there. You can see your double door closet, window that looks off the back of the home, overhead light fixture and ceiling fan. And then you can see good size closet, open shelving. We'll come around through this, but this is the bathroom. It's accessible through the hallway as well as the master bedroom. Got a large linen closet here, great for whatever you need to store. And then we have our large master bedroom. You can see you've got nice vaulted ceilings, overhead light fixture with ceiling fan. Got plenty of space down on the flip side here to use for whatever purpose you'd like. Large walk-in closet and access to the master bathroom as well. So here is our walk-in closet. Good shelving all around. And then here is your upstairs bathroom. So we have a large vanity with excess space here, large mirror, medicine cabinet, toilet. And then of course we have a tub shower over here as well. And then this flows right out to the main level, or to the uh, main hallway here too. So accessible from the master bedroom as well as the actual hallway itself. Okay. Coming on down. Again, just one more panoramic view of this level as this is easily my favorite level. And these staircases too, they're very wide, which is great for getting up and down, especially this one right here. It uh, just feels very vast and spacious. All right, this lower level, right here I'll show it. This is the garage. So we have our two car garage. You can see this good overhang on both sides. And they have uh, some additional shelving up there too, a little storage for you. Okay, then right over here, we've got our under stair storage. So you got a sub pump right there and then some understair storage. Good place to put shoes or coats too if you'd like. You can see they got a big shoe rack right here. And then these double doors gets you in to this lower family room, living room. Which in theory could be used as a bedroom here too, but primary use of this is as a living room. Because rather than like a true normal closet, this is just your mechanicals over here. So you got your furnace, AC, water heater, water softener. But still having this additional space, and this can make a really good office here too. Like, yeah, it's a spacious room, so it's definitely larger than your standard office would be. But to have all this extra space is just great to have. All right, well that concludes this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process. If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.